Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. Today's video has nothing to do with coding. Today I just wanted to share my thoughts across regarding a very important topic. A lot of you reach out to me and state that you want to become NLP engineers. Some of you are targeting only computer vision based roles. Some of you even ask me should you only look out for a specialist role or a generalist role? Well, today's video is the video where I'll kind of clarify all the doubts that you have regarding what is good for you. Should you target a generalist based role in data science or should you aim for a specific role in data science or machine learning? So without wasting any further time, let's kick start the video. Let me start by sharing a small story across. Imagine a situation where you're not feeling well. You have high blood pressure. What do you do in that case? You go to a generalist doctor, you get yourself tested. Imagine one more situation where you have some problem with your eye. You are unable to see things clearly. Will you visit the same doctor again? The answer is no. You require a specialist doctor who specializes in treating eyes. Another case is when you have a serious operation to be conducted. It is here that a generalist wouldn't be of a lot of help, but rather a surgeon who is specialized in surgeries would kind of do the trick for you. So do you see a trend here? For very general use cases, you will have a generalist that will come in handy. But when the issue is very specific, it is here that you require a specialist. So from the medical example that I just showed you, let's focus our attention back to data science and machine learning. What exactly is data science? Anything that you do that improves business using data is what data science is. It can be done using simple automation techniques. It can be done using simple analysis using Excel. You can go on and create simple decision tree models as well. Or you can use fancy neural networks for a task as well. Everything that you do in data science is essentially tied back to a business problem. Now, what should you have essentially in order to solve a business problem? Well, you should have skills related to that business problem. Today, organizations are spending a lot of money in order to gather data, understand data, and then make inferences out of that data. The data can be in form of tables. It can be in form of images. It can be in form of audio files as well. Now, if you are plain absolute beginner in the field of data science and machine learning, I would recommend all of you to start as a generalist. Spend some time in understanding data. When you are given tabular data, how do you play around with that data? How do you come up with meaningful insights for the organization is where the initial part of data science comes in. While playing around with data, if you happen to realize that there is a target variable and there are a set of features that kind of influence the target variable, then you can create regression or classification models depending on what your target variable is. So all of this is more of an iterative process where you understand data, start giving out value through data to your business organization, and then you start modifying or you start building upon solutions for the organization. There are a lot of times where you don't need fancy algorithms. Sometimes a simple logistic regression model for classifying say loan defaulters can come in handy. Sometimes a very complex algorithm when you have OCR related solutions come in handy. It is here that you have to take a conscious call in terms of what you want to do next. So my advice as I've initially mentioned as well, for freshers, you should keep a very open mindset in terms of learning as much as you can. If the company expects you to deploy your initial model itself, then you are in a very lucky place where the organization is giving you that responsibility of deploying models at the end solution phase as well. A lot of companies expect you to derive insights rather than building models. Stick with that. As long as you are providing value to the organization, it is all that matters. So first thumb rule is if you are starting out, start with a generalist role. Now, when do you pick up a specialist role in the process of learning different things? If you happen to come across a problem statement, 
say for example if you're given call records of customers wherein you have to derive insights out of it what do you do in that case you would run all your audio clips through a model extract the text out of those audio clips and then using topic modeling you can essentially extract the major themes of call recordings if you are essentially part of the customer service organization so there are different things that you can do with data but in the process of extracting topics from call records you essentially end up learning a lot about say natural language processing and then you start developing interest as you get more projects it is here that you can think of transitioning into a specific role you can consider natural language processing in that case as a specialization and with the pace at which things are moving it's always good to keep an eye on what's happening across different fields but it's not necessary that you should implement it in your current role as well so what i would recommend is if you are thinking of a specialist role then first get a glimpse of what a generalist role looks like then start specializing in something that you have kind of developed an interest for now a lot of freshers would also argue that hey i am very comfortable with natural language processing and i want to only target roles on natural language processing which is absolutely fine there is nothing wrong in being specific but most of the companies today are looking for generalist as compared to specialist yes there are companies like google facebook and the others that are there that are doing some cutting edge research work on say natural language processing computer vision they would require a very 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 specific skill set like they are very focused on what they want from a candidate it is here that if you are a specialist in one domain then there is no touching you in that domain but if you are a generalist who wants to play around with data derive insights then a lot of organizations are ready to hire you the advantage of being a generalist is that you can switch domains as well so you can start off with a financial domain background then you can enter an fmcg related company then you can also think of e-commerce e-commerce is kind of booming these days so there are different things that you can try and the more you experiment the more you would understand business from different sectors as well so that is where the openness of being a generalist comes in so these were my recommendations in terms of what you should pick up essentially again it all boils down to what you like so there might be a situation that you are part of a bigger organization and the organization has a lot of sub departments which has different data sets all together it is here that you can play around with different data sets come up with insights derive value to the organization so it is here that a generalist would come in more handy for some use cases or for some organizations being a specialist helps i hope this clears a lot of confusion that you might have if you've clicked on this video whether you should choose a generalist role or a specialist role so this is all that i had in today's video i hope you found this video informative thank you so much for watching the video